Hey YouTube, it's Soul Creator. This is the first of many YouTube videos, hopefully. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button. Uh, shout out to Spencer TV for giving me the shout out. So basically this is uh, about shoes. I have, a, I have a great passion about shoes. So it'll be kind of the culture of shoes, the customization, the DIY stuff that we're gonna actually get into today. And you'll see a little bit later in this video. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get into this. We're starting off cleaning these. We gotta clean them first before we paint them. Make sure they look nice in the end. Shout out to Angelus uh, Direct for the uh, cleaning stuff, along with the paint. We'll get into the paint a little bit later. It works just as fine with like hand sanitizers and stuff. I've used that before. Toothpaste I've used before, and that actually works really well. So, uh, any of those work. A lot of stuff at home works. But let's get into it. So we're applying the cleaner with the water over the dirty stuff. It takes a lot of scrubbing, but uh, the cleaner usually works out really well. I also have white paint, so whatever doesn't buff out, because there's a lot of scratches and stuff that d definitely does not buff out. Uh, I'll paint over with white, which will make it look just like brand new. But just look at that. That was just that was straight dirt, and now it's it's perfectly clean. It works really well. But like I said, toothpaste, uh, a lot of that stuff works works good too. You know, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on cleaning stuff. When you're done cleaning like I am for the most part, paper towel, rip that off, buff out the, the soap and the cleaner. So you can already tell a giant difference. Now there's some spots where you can tell like it's not going to come out. It's kind of darker complected there from just the scrapes and stuff. It's it's maintained because it's foam again. Like it's, it's not going to be perfectly clean. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with the cleaner, we're going to come over here. We got the white paint, the Angelus white paint. It's just acrylic leather paint. It works with the bottom sole of the Roche one. So I just, I put it in the cap just a little bit and then just dab it out with your brush. These brushes are, they came in a set from Angelus. I'll put that in the description down below uh, where you can get all this stuff. But it, it came in a kit, so you're allowed like a couple colors with the kit too, so that's what I did. So you just apply it, it's really easy. You don't really have to have too much artistic skills to do this, just stable hands, I guess. So just apply that, and we're gonna do it only to the side. You can already see a difference, it looks a lot better. We're only gonna do it to the sides, the bottoms, it'll just wear off and there's no point, no one's gonna see the bottoms anyway, so. Cover this all the way up, and then we're, we'll speckle these afterwards. It'll look really nice to make them super unique. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned on that, but yeah, so we're gonna go over this. Look at the difference in color, holy crap. Okay, I gotta, I gotta be careful here. I don't want to get it on the old shoes. Okay guys, so what I did next is I grabbed the uh, duct tape and I duct taped the handles of just a store bag. Uh, any store bag works. This has a couple holes in it up top. This is mainly just to keep, when we speckle the shoe, it's to keep the, the upper nice and clean. We don't get any paint on there that we don't want. We're gonna put this over it and then we're just gonna duct tape this along the edge of the midsole the midsole and the top of the shoe just to make sure again to make sure we don't get the paint on the, the top of the shoe okay continue so <coughs> tape job got the bag over um, so what we're gonna do I did this because when we splatter the paint it's not very accurate so you don't want to get it on the top or else it's not gonna look good you don't want it to look bad you know what I'm saying, not saying. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a toothbrush I've used this so many times but it can literally be any toothbrush. Usually the ones that are worn out the most, like I like to suck on my toothbrush a lot so it gets all like frayed. Any type of toothbrush like this, I clean it off so I better I better dry her off. But just grab one out of the house. You know, maybe one of your brothers, or si little brothers or sisters likes to suck on their toothbrushes and gets it all dirty. All right, and then I got the paint. This is Emerald 5 Angelus paint. Again, I got this in the kit. So it's really, it's kind of, it matches the shoe really well. So it'll be kind of cool to see the end product. And so you just dip it in the paint like so, get a little bit on there. And now this takes a little bit of finessing, but what you do is, you know, you hold it a few inches away, five, six inches, splatter, like that. All right. And you know you're kind of running out of paint when the, 
when the little dots are getting smaller, you want to have a couple big dots in there like I got around there. Um, so let's move this around here. All right, guys, uh, the paint is still a wet. That is the final product. As you can see, it's got nice, the nice spread out speckle job, the repainted white. Honestly, we could probably go back in here and get this Nike swoosh white, but that's for another day. But it looks a lot better than it used to. Here's, here's the other shoe that I still have to do, but just look at the difference. Damn! It spoofs it up. You know, when you're walking the hallways at school, it'll look a lot better. Uh, people will be like, dang, dude, how'd you do that? Stuff like that. It's a good conversation starter, you know? But you'll be that dude in school with the sick kicks, and you did them yourself, you know what I'm saying? Not saying. <laughs> like, subscribe, let me know about any other videos you want to see. Um, I will link the description in the description all of the paint, brushes, all the items I used. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, thanks for tuning in.